Hi from Hello. Egypt. We've just arrived in Egypt here now. It's pretty late. It's what time is it? It is nearly 12 a.m. Um, it was a bit of an interesting journey to say the least. The taxi driver was mental. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, it was crazy. Um, we got the flight from Dubai. It was long enough. It was three and a half hours and it was oh, it was just a horrible flight. Um, and then arrived, Connor booked a transfer, but it didn't turn didn't up, he, he wasn't there. So we were just being pestered by other taxi drivers. So we got in with one and it was fine, but oh my God, the taxi journey. I'll just insert some clips here. absolutely crazy i was never so scared in my whole life like oh my there goodness there is no rules whatsoever with driving over here it's crazy like we thought dubai was bad but compared to here dubai like, is like ireland compared to here oh my goodness there was no lanes there was like cars like in and out it was literally like there's four boys on one motorbike <laughs> four boys on one motorbike and then I don't even know. There was like little vans. There was horses. Like it was just crazy. Something from a movie. <laughs> and me and him were just there. My heart was going through the roof. I was just thinking if my mom seen where I am right now, she would kill me. Um. So we're actually not even staying in Cairo. We're staying in Giza. We just thought we'd get the rustic experience and yeah, um, we just wanted to be as close to the pyramids as possible so we don't have much time we don't have much time it's friday and we leave again on sunday so we just thought we'll go in and throw ourselves into the history um and just take it all in so we're staying in giza and uh, it's crazy outside not gonna lie like oh my god <laughs> crazy i think everywhere's just gonna be like that yeah but it's it's fine like um the manager of the hotel took us up and showed us our room and then took us up to the rooftop i will show you the view in yeah, the morning it's pretty good it's it's so cool like it was such a moment just to take it all in like because we've always seen movies of the pyramids and all that you know when you're younger watching the mummy but yeah the mummy i know but oh my goodness it was just like a whoa moment upstairs so we'll show you that in the morning when it's nice and bright but um yeah we're in a little room here now just about to go to bed yeah so that's all from us tonight and we'll catch up with you in the morning good morning from giza and egypt say good morning connor good morning so we've not had a great night's sleep not gonna lie <laughs> yeah it's so noisy here really really noisy really loud outside all night but anyway it was fine we got to sleep we woke up at six because we just couldn't sleep like the noise didn't stop yeah. and we also have no wi-fi like since we arrived and it's fine like we wouldn't mind but it's just letting like our parents were obviously the new we were going and we haven't been in contact and i know my mom is just going to be digging a hole um in her head but anyway hopefully we'll get some later but i'll just show you the view now this is the view from the room this is the only good part of the hotel yeah the only good part of the hotel is we're so close to the pyramids and the sphinx is there as well so it's pretty surreal like it is absolutely amazing how close they are. So we have a tour booked for nine. Yeah, so we're gonna go and get some breakfast first. So <laughs> I don't know what this is gonna be like. We're a bit nervous about yeah, the breakfast. I'm gonna have to be well, I'm gonna have to be a vegetarian. Yeah. Not a bad view for some coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Wow. It's so surreal. Breakfast is served. <laughs> we don't know what any of this stuff is, but we're gonna give it a whack. Coffees are here, taking in the view. What did you try there, Connor? Some sort of bread. Nice? No. Oh no. Well, sure, we'll give it a, a whack anyway. Okay, so we tried most of the stuff. I don't know what that is. I think that was like eggs with tomatoes and spices. 
we're not gonna try them because they don't smell too good and they're they just smell like oil and then this was hummus that was fine I don't know what that was it was okay I think it's like Connor stop it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um I would give it a solid minus two <laughs> <laughs> it's just that they bring your breakfast so we couldn't really choose but yeah. I mean we tried it but yeah it's just it a go. that's nice yeah a, there was a white bread under this that was nice yeah that bread's just a wee bit we just don't, we're just not used to this food like so obviously it's just completely different than what we're used to but anyway we gave it a go and the views are nice the views are amazing so it makes up for everything it's fab Complex. Yeah. Yes, first time, yeah. So amazing. Hello. <laughs> it's so big. Oh my goodness. Wow, it's amazing. It was 148 meters and now it's 136. No. Wow. Yeah. That's you know crazy. the top of this pyramid? Uh -huh. have some authority says it was gold, covering by gold. Wow. I know some authorities is speaking in Europe now about it was not a tomb. It was just to bring energy for the world. Like, maybe it's right. Maybe. But always the Paris people they right they like to build a, a, a tomb. It's a beginning uh, because uh, in the ancient civilization was believing by God. Everyone is coming down like dripping in sweat. <laughs> Now we have to go all the way back to it. Huh? Oh, ready to go back down? No, <laughs> We're out. Finally. Fresh air. Paparazzi. <laughs> Nicola's famous. Another one. There must be about 10 photos today. Here we go again. Not one picture for me. No one likes you. No one likes me. And he made it. And if you're looking, you, wow. can, you can feel this one longest than the Great Pyramid. Yeah. Or maybe not. We don't have them on the bus. Grand child. Cranius. Like. Always we just uh, stop in the Grand Pyramids, but I will make something special for you. I will let you also to make a, a stop in the Micranius one, if Aww. you like also to take a photo. Oh, that'd be this great, a, thank you. Yeah. This one again? Min Kerwin. Men Kerwin. Uh, in Arabic, Mankaura. Mankaura. This is, uh, ah. but Min Kerwin, it's English. We're at the panoramic view of cubes and the other pyramids. Unreal. It's probably not dead. <laughs> they go nervous.
we're going into the Sphinx now to make a wish. You can get the rusty one. I'll get the rusty one. Ready? Three, two, one. May our wishes come true. <laughs> Well deserved. Well, well deserved here. Well deserved is right. We finished up in the pyramids and then we we're starving, so we headed for McDonald's in Cairo. Uh huh. Yeah. We got a massive food there. <laughs> we got so much food. I got so much food. Because we didn't really eat breakfast. Like, we didn't like the food, we're not gonna lie. Like, it wasn't oh, nice. All we could really eat was the bread. Yeah. Was Once we got to McDonald's and we knew all the food, we just ordered everything. Yeah. And we thought there'd be Wi Fi there, but it wouldn't work again. I know. So. Oh my god, and as well, we had such a, a ordeal. We've had such an ordeal with the Wi-Fi um, because like obviously we arrived last night and we didn't I didn't contact my mum at all. Yeah, we haven't been in contact with anyone since Dubai. Yeah, so since Dubai and like my mum is very like she's such a warrior and I always have to text her like throughout my whole teenage years I would text her anytime I get somewhere and when I come back. So obviously I was like, she's gonna be good into panic mode now because we're gonna go to sleep. I didn't even tell her that I, I had arrived or anything. So anyway, I woke up. Safe to, to say there was a search, search party out for us. Search party out. Woke up, still had no Wi-Fi, but I kept getting texts on my phone saying someone is contacting you, someone is contacting you. But like I couldn't call it back because my data doesn't work. No Wi-Fi anywhere. So eventually then I asked the tour guide that you seen at the pyramids, could I just make a call, like an international number? And he was so nice. He was like, yeah, absolutely. So I called mom and I was like, hi, it's Nicola. Um, I'm fine, don't worry. And she's like, oh my gosh, she lost it. She had like emailed like a lot of pe important people like to try to figure out where we were. Oh. It was a tad dramatic. <laughs> mom, you're a psycho. <laughs> I oh, know she's just a warrior and I knew her head would just go to the worst deepest darkest place ever because she didn't hear from us but anyway search party's over a <laughs> long story short we're in the rest of Carlton now trying to get to Wi-Fi yeah so we literally just came in to the nice hotel we could find because it's the only place that has Wi-Fi and um, so yeah we're just relaxing here just watching a bit of TV with a coffee and a beer and um, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna stay in our the hotel again tonight because it's terrible. Yeah, I hate being so negative, but no, it's just dirty. It's just dirty. You can't sleep in a bed that's just dirty. No, and we're so exhausted. Like you know, I was wake up every hour because I was so worried about my mom. <laughs> so we just didn't really sleep last night. It was so loud. So I don't, I don't think we'll be staying there tonight. But anyway, we'll update you in a while when we see what we're doing. Cheers. <laughs> So we're back and we're ch We've we're had enough of this room. We've had enough of this room. Um, we're just gonna, we're packing up our stuff. I'm gonna check out because it's just chaos outside. So Chaos outside, they didn't clean the room. It's filthy and now <laughs> donkeys everywhere. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Like, just, when we booked it, like it looked a lot different. <laughs> oh, we got catfished. <laughs> oh my god, like when we came in last night, we were just like, right, okay. The view and everything is unreal. Like, that is the settler. It is the best view you can get. Yeah. But it comes with a price. It comes with a price, yeah, for sure. So, just to get like a bit of a decent sleep and a bit of a rest, um, we're just gonna go. We're staying where we've booked the Radisson, which is um, just out by the airport. Like, it's just yeah, it gives us extra time uh, to in the morning. Yeah, we have an early flight out here. We have an early flight, so uh, we'd have to get up really early from here because Giza's a bit far, and just what taxis around here aren't so reliable. So, I think it's and just traffic. Rest. The traffic's oh, mental. Yeah, the traffic's crazy when we got a taxi in, so hopefully, we don't get caught in that too bad. But yeah, I think it's for the best. What do you think? Definitely, we have arrived. At a much nicer room. This is more cozier. Ah, oh, so happy we pulled up and it was just like, 
nice and clean chill. and chill and we actually got an upgrade as well like I think it was meant to be Connor yeah, as much as I like to think yeah we could like travel the world with a backpack and just you I know don't think it's gonna I don't think that's ever ever gonna be me anyway as much as I like to think it would be but no nature girl <laughs> No, but this is just nice and peaceful and yeah, I can't wait just to have a shower and get clean. My head and my nose is just split and I have a bit of a cold, so yeah. Can't hack it. Can't hack it. No, we had such a good day though in all fairness, like the pyramids and everything were amazing. We just needed a comfy room, didn't we Connor? Well, you did. I do. Morning. Morning. We have had the best sleep ever and we went to bed at like half nine yeah. and it's six now in the morning so we're just getting ready to leave to go to the airport but that was the best decision ever coming here yeah, we, needed. we had a nice dinner and then like got a nice shower and slept like absolute baby just waiting for our taxi now to show you we snipped at the lobby it's so nice from one desert to another. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye!